Well, dear students, now in this video, I will be deriving expression for observed frequency in Doppler effect. In previous video, I have explained you what is Doppler effect. I told you whenever the relative motion between source of sound and observer, then frequency frequency of sound heard by observer is different from the real. So, how much difference take place, and what is the relation of observed frequency and uh, real frequency with the uh, speed of source and sound. Uh, someone, uh, some student uh, requested me to write class and subject and chapter. I have given the all thing playlist. I write playlist for wave like that. And in class 11, you know, in wave is in class 11. So please uh, try to guess. Uh, you know, when you stand, start studying, please have the knowledge of your syllabus. How much syllabus? Some extra things are told here uh, because of complete, complete exam, general examination. Like <coughs> some general sciences are asked in every exam, so they can be understood only if we know something extra. So here in figure, the rectangle shows here medium though we can't bound medium like a rectangle but just a representation of the medium medium is here air or wind and i have marked vm as the velocity of medium like miss wind some people write v vw velocity of wind i write uh, velocity of medium wind as the point source of sound o is the point observer and uh, the source is moving towards the observable velocity Vs. Observable moving away from the source, away from the C here. I have taken C, speed of sound in still air. C is the speed of sound in still air. So using the notation, I will derive expression for observed frequency. So let in figure. Let me figure a point source, point source uh, of sound S is moving towards a, an observer, an observer. O, which is, yeah, who is moving, who is moving away, from the source. <coughs> the medium. That is, wind or you can say air moves here with velocity vm from source to observer. This derivation, which I am telling you, the method of deriving the formula, uh, is not written in any book now. It was written in a book, uh, a NCRT book, which was including the syllabus of class 11 and 12 both. There was a single book long back ago. So here, <coughs> uh, I will take here C sound. What is here? Let C be the velocity of sound in still air and small n b small and b 
the frequency of sound produced by source S. Here I have taken C. This C is the sphere of sound in a still air. And you have got it that sphere of sound in a still air vary with temperature and has value 330 at 0 degrees centigrade, etc. Uh, now, medium is moving and medium is moving here with velocity Vm. Actually, sound to spread in all direction. If the source of sound, I am the source of sound here. My sound goes this way, this way, all the way, vertically up, down. But here we choose the direction of the sound from source to observer. Because I am observer, I mean, uh, so, so velocity of sound with respect to stationary source. Is stationary so when source supposed to be at rest. If we take Vs0, then what will be the velocity of sound when medium is moving from source to observer? Is equal to C plus Vm. Like now, uh, uh, we have done question class 8 to 9, uh, boat moves in uh, a river. If, <coughs> if boat moves along the velocity, then velocity of boat with respect to bank of river becomes C plus, uh, no, V plus uh, velocity of water. And upstream minus, like that, it is that one. But now source is moving along the direction sound here. Uh, so, so velocity of sound with respect to moving observer observer here observer in figure, is it figure in Vatra? Okay, I'm not ready. C dash will be C plus Vm minus Vs. My source moves with this, by C plus Vm. C plus Vm is the is speed of sound with respect to stereo observer. It is moving behind it like this if before you train is going at 80 km per hour and you are in behind that towards the train at 40 km per hour, the velocity of train with respect to you will be 80 minus 40 like that. So now we know relation between frequency and wavelength as we know that C equal to N lambda. So here C dash C has changed and become this, but for source frequency same. So a uh, wavelength, wavelength of sound when the speed of sound, the available sound, when velocity of sound with respect to source is C less is given by 
लैमडा डैस सी डैस फोन है यानी कि इक्वल टू सी प्लस बी एम सी प्लस बी एम माइनस बी एस फोन है जी द फ्रीक्वेंस वेव लेंथ ऑफ साउंड द ऑब्जर्वर हियर द ऑब्जर्वर हियर विल रिसीव बट एज मीडिया यू नोइंग तो वैल्यू ऑफ साउंड विद रेस्पेक्ट टू स्टेशनरी ऑब्जर्वर तो सी प्लस वी एम बिकॉज ऑफ वैल्यू स्टी ऑफ मीडियम ना द ऑब्जर्वर रिसीव द साउंड एट स्पीड ऑफ नाउ स्पीड ऑफ साउंड With respect to moving observer, C double dash equal to C plus V M minus V O. These are the wavelength of sound received by this. Again, as C equal to N lambda. C has changed, wavelength has changed, so frequency of sound will also be changed. I hope you are getting me very clearly. No, no hurry, no tension. आपको खूब पता है कि C equal to n lambda, V equal to n lambda, and frequency lambda wavelength. I have defined all these terms. very clearly when i started teaching the sound am i so frequency of sound of sound heard by observer एंड डेज इक्वल टू एंड डेज इक्वल टू सी डैश ओन लेमरा डैस माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम टेलिंग यू दिस इज द सिंपलेस्ट मैथड ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग डॉक्टर इंपैक्ट नो कंफ्यूजन विल प्रिवेल इन योर ब्रेन इफ यू प्लीज एज अर्ट टू दिस डेरिवेशन दिस मैथड इन बुक दिस मैथड हैज नॉट बी मैं नाउ all people are we all i i don't want to blame but there is trouble cotton paste method is going on now in our country i i when i want to write any book i take so many book takes some part from this book some part from that book and nothing original from the brain of the author अब हम अपना ब्रेन अपना इस्तेमाल नहीं करते जो पहले से कहते आ रहे हैं लोग बात वो ही चलता आता है बहुत सारी बातें हैं मैं यहाँ कहूँगा तो उधम मच जाएगा हम वही गतानुगति को लोके वाली बात है तो लैमरा डैस फ्रॉम इक्वेशन वन एंड सी डबल डैश इज दिस पुटिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ सी डबल डैश एंड लैमरा डैस तो एन डैश एन डबल डैश एन डैश इक्वल टू सी प्लस वी एम माइनस वी ओ अपोन सी प्लस वी एम माइनस वी एस अपोन है दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ साउंड विल बी हर्ड बाय द ऑब्जर्वर और यू कैन राइट दिस एन डैश इक्वल टू एन इन टू सी प्लस वी एम माइनस वी ओ अपॉन सी प्लस वी एम माइनस वी एस दिस इज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी हर्ड बाय द लिस्नर वैन ऑब्जर्वर मूविंग अवे सोर्स मूविंग टूअर्ड द ऑब्जर्वर तो डायरेक्शन ऑफ साउंड तो आर वी टेकिंग फ्रॉम सोर्स टू ऑब्जर्वर 
any 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 objects the source of the sound or the medium moving a body to where a sound uh, then it follows to be negative here this formula has been derived this formula has been derived by taking the motion of observer source and medium along the direction of uh wireless sound and wireless sound is always taken from source suppose source is here and observer is there so sound coming from this way if source goes observer moves away so he is moving opposite to c so wireless p o b o will be taken negative if observer go source goes this way sound going coming this so v is negative We have to take any way. Whosoever moves opposite to the direction of the sound has to be taken negative. Here, this derivation has been done by taking all uh, moving uh, objects, medium, the uh, source of sound, the observer, all are moving along the direction of sound. Now, if uh, V O and V S, V O, V S and V M are taken as a positive, as positive. The question two is now positive. If the dar their direction, their direction. is alone where is your song if anyone anyone or or all of them are moving opposite to the direction of sound direction of velocity of sound then the velocity is taken negative and is to put with negative sign in equation 2 and hence the velocity is put with with negative sign negative sign equation 2 generally you will find problems when medium at rest <laughs> so if medium at rest and uh, observer or source are moving in the direction of sound then putting vm is equal to 0 in equation 2 we get n dash equal to n bracket c minus v o upon c minus v s i wrote one paragraph here If observer move upon it, suppose here is here is source. It is observer moving like this. Then I will use this n as n into c minus minus u. I mean to say like this, or c minus v s. As a, लिखना होगा. जो भी move करेगा, positive वाले sound. 
उसकी वेलोसिटी को नेगेटिव साइन के साथ रखा जाएगा एंड यू विल गेट प्रोपर आंसर नाउ इन दिस इक्वेशन इट इज सिंपल टू मेमोराइज एन डैश इक्वल टू एन सी ऊपर भी सी नीचे सी माइनस बी ओ कॉन बी एस इन इंग्लिश एल्फाबेट्स लेटर ओ कम्स बिफोर एस अंग्रेजी का जो हम ए बी सी डी एफ जी एस करते हैं तो ओ वर्ड कम बिफोर एस सो वी ओ इन दूमरेटर एंड बी एस इन द डिनोमिनेटर नाउ आई विल बी टेलिंग इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो अबाउट के इफ ओनली वन थिंग इज मूविंग आई हैव डन इट मूविंग ओल आर मूविंग तो हाउ विल यू गैस के इफ ओनली सोर्स मूव ऑब्जर्व एड्रेस मीडियम एड्रेस देन इफ यू आर आस्ट हाउ डू इट डज नॉट मीन दैट यू ड्राइव द होल थिंग एंड देन फुट हियर बी एस इक्वल टू जीरो हियर बी ओ इज इक्वल टू जीरो देर आर अदर थिंग आल्सो सो इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो आई विल टेलिंग दैट प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो केयरफुली ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट एंड अप्लाई दिस वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेरी सिंपल चैप्टर दो स्टूडेंट्स फील अनेबल because they keep on involving in initial chapter you have to prepare the whole syllabus just to get a good merit and it is very simple beta aap pareshan ho ke na padhe ye man bana ke padhe mujhe seekhna hai seekhne ki pad jo koi number laane ki prarthi na mujhe rakho apne aap aayenge apne aap position achhi hogi if you have knowledge and our people have lot of knowledge take inspiration from them na bhai to aap ye mujhe samjhe ki hum ekdam paida hote kyun nahi hai learning is very slow process learning itna aasan bhi nahi hota ha kuch bhi aap kaam sikhenge as as age increasing uh, increasing learning become more and more difficult in childhood you have uh, good potential of learning you can learn so many things easily and at fast speed in childhood in adulthood and old age it becomes more difficult so please ana actually i am not a good counselor but my student later tell tell me that sir you have explained so many value very easily don't have any if you are feeling something bother ask meet your teacher meet your parents and or don't go to your friend or any please have good faith in your teacher and parents there is no other body who is worried about you thank you